Hey, what's up, guys? This is Dr. Styles coming to you with another review. This time I have Majin Buu from Mega House. Stay tuned to find out more about this figure. All right, guys, over here we have the front of the box. Looking real good. You have a nice uh, image of the figure itself. Um, and a bunch of lettering. Uh, the colors in this um, box um, pop out. And I'm really impressed with the box. It's not a lot of crazy things going on, but it still looks good. It serves its purpose. Over here, you're going to have the beautiful Dragon Ball Z logo. Looks nice, colorful, vibrant. I, I really enjoy it. Over here, you got the toy sticker. On the side, it's going to have dimensions of Dragon Ball, I think, <laughs> I'm not sure. Over here, Majin Buu, Majin Buu in Japanese. And made by Mega House, 2015, made in China. Side view of the box. The other, the back of the box looks really good. A lot of information on it, don't know what it says. Uh, the other side of the box, a little bent, it's all good. And me being fancy, taking nice little dy dynamic angles. Hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> Not making you dizzy. All right. Again, the box looks real good. Nothing crazy, but um, basic, but it looks really good. All right, guys. This is the box. How it looks when it open. It opens like a book. Now you have the on on the left. You have the accessories and the figure itself on the right. Over here is uh, a shot of me opening the box. Again, wasn't too hard. You just have to cut a few um uh, tape, a few pieces of tape with a razor or something, and you're good to go. It comes right off, and then there we go. Here's a figure. All right, uh, partner now have a turntable. Uh, this is my bootleg turntable. It looks like I'm scratching records, but it's all good. Uh, here's the Majin Buu with um, both figures, uh, both uh, accessories plus the cape. I think the cape is another uh, separate accessory as well. I guess you could consider it because it doesn't come attached to the figure. Um, over here we got a nice view of the box, the figure, and the two accessories, the two se separate heads that it comes with. Looks really good. Um, uh, it, it, it definitely packs a punch. Now, this is the connection that goes to the neck. That's how you connect it, obviously, to the rest of the body. A little finicky, but again, this is more of a statue. So you're not really going to be playing around with this. So you don't have to worry about breaking it. Just, you know, pop whatever hair you want on there. And you're good to go. Uh, the paint paint on there looks real good. The details doesn't, it's not crazy with detail, but it serves its purpose. It looks like you took it out of the, uh, of the TV show. Here's a, a happy Majin Buu. I personally wish the mouth was a little bit more detailed, but again, still looks pretty good. It serves its purpose. And here's the handsome face that it comes with. This was literally one shot in Dragon Ball, but I, felt like, I guess they felt like they had to. I'm not. I would prefer the angry face Majin Buu. Here's Majin Buu without the cape. Over here, I'll illustrate um, the, uh, the statue's um, uh, rest of the statue's um, appearance. The back, those pants right there are actually cloth pants. A lot of the Mega House, I think all the Mega House figures, um, a little bit of articulation on the head. Uh, the Mega House uh, statue, sorry. Uh, their clothing, uh, not all of it, but some of it is cloth. So the pants are the only part of the of the of the statue that's actually cloth. Now I'll show you uh, the second head again and the third head again. Again, these are part of the accessories. You can use them whichever one you want. I'll probably just leave them with the regular smiley face again. I wish I would have got the uh, angry face Majibu instead that would have been better but what can you do you know so over here I'll show you the different ways to put, uh, put on the head so all you have to do is pop them on and that's it and he looks kind of funny with the uh, handsome face but it's what it is it's real easy to take the head off and off no struggle doesn't feel like you get a break or anything real nice and smooth um, the, the stand is pretty cool too. 
uh, nice lathering. It fits right in. It gives you a little. It feels like you're gonna break the leg, but you just have to force it a little bit, and it goes right in. Not that big of a deal. Don't mind me struggling. <laughs> And the next shot, you can see a comparison. Um, this is SSJ Goku, regular Goku, uh, uh, from Mega House as well. As you see the uh, the height different. Um, it looks like Goku and uh, Majin Buu are about the same height. Uh, this Goku as well, uh, his uh, orange key is cloth, and so is his blue belt. But the rest is plastic. Um, looks pretty good. Um, uh, in my personal opinion, I think these figures are a little too expensive. I guess it's because of the cloth, um, but they still look good. The Goku I bought, and like I said earlier, my, my best friend bought me the Majin Buu. All right, guys, this pretty much wraps up my review. Thank you for watching. Any question or any comments, leave them below. I appreciate it. And Dr. Sal is out.